Guys, today I'm gonna to share with you my five best ways for 2021 for marketing tips for realtors. How to market, are you tired of throwing money away from Facebook, and Instagram, MailChimp, and Constant Contact? Just spamming, 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 it's nothing's working? Then stay tuned, let's get this done. Alan Jimenez here, real estate coach and broker here at hpagents.com. I've been training agents for 15 years, so I hope you're ready to get started and learn it. I truly believe you have to learn because success is earned. Let's get started, folks. I'm super excited. Are you ready to get going? Well, let's get started. I think I need to grab my microphone because it's always a little bit better with the microphone, right? Plus, it's big and it's heavy, right? And it's sweaty and the air conditioner went out. So let's get this party started. Number one, don't, when you get a new listing, you got an open house, don't send a spammy, crappy open house or new listing email out to 30,000 agents that you paid 100 bucks for on constant contact. Do not do that because you're going to end up annoying a bunch of agents. You're going to be coming across as, I don't know, a little bit of crappy. You're going to end up in the spam folder and we do not want that uh, you want to send a personalized email when they receive an email they need to think it's personal you sent an email directly to them hey James I just got a new I got a new listing you have a chance to take a look at it blah 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 hey uh, Sarah if you get a chance can you take a look at this I don't know if I did it right uh, it's a new property coming up I just gonna I just want to bring it to your attention <coughs> something like that number two number two on oh, we're gonna move down this really quick because I know you guys are super busy if you don't have a good headline, they won't get open. If you don't get a have a new, if you don't have a good headline, the email, the ad, the Facebook, whatever, the Instagram will not get open. Period. Now we have three seconds of people's time that we have to capture it. We have to oh what what we're talking about. They're gonna have to know what they're talking about and gain interest and click on it. We have three seconds. It's a fact. This is not like an opinion. This is what we have to deal with. So we have to one somehow personalize it if we can. Number two, we'll maybe ask a question or that something that gains curiosity. So if you're doing that for an email, it's very easy to do because if you have the audience already, you upload it to Constant Contact, MailChimp, LionDesk, Top Producer, whatever the case is, you can put their first name and then ask a question and then the address street. So a bunch of things you can do. It's a part of my mastery class of real estate advertising and marketing. If you'd like to learn more, click the link below or just join the, the brokerage. We love to have you, it's 100% commission. Golly, I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, number three, what is it? What do you think? Number three is the most important thing is defining the audience. Why is that important? No, why just send this email out to 30,000 people? Or I'll just make this Facebook, Facebook advertisement and send it out to this area. Why would you send, why would you show a property, a million dollar property, a $500,000 property to someone who can't really afford it? Or maybe you have a $100,000 house to somebody who's who's only buying 500,000, it's irrelevant. So we gotta think, we have to say, okay, where do these people hang out? What do they follow? What do they watch on Netflix? Do they watch Netflix? Do they watch series? Do they follow the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times? Do they follow skateboarding or surfing or biking or cycling? Why is this important? Because we're narrowing our audience down. We're bringing it down so that we don't not show that that uh, that advertisement to everyone. Why? I and mean, I want everybody to see it. It's because it's gonna cost you. The way Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, everything works is by impressions. They're gonna be showing you impression value and click-through value. We'll talk about that in the advertising and social media mastery class. Click the link below if you'd like to learn more. Anyways, okay, so now we know we have uh, the audience matters. The, the, the headline matters, not sending spammy, crappy out, crappy stuff to thousands and thousands of people. All of this ties in together. It just not does not just work with one thing. All of them tie together. Number four, let me go down this little list here, actually. I got a little list ready for you guys. Mass texting homeowners. Oh, this is wonderful. So I developed a tool. I'm a software developer by trade, easymasstext.com. That's the software that I've developed. Now, if you guys need to reach out to thousands of realtors, I'm sorry, thousands of homeowners, I mean, all at one click and they're personalized, give me a call or just join the brokerage. We're 100% commissioned. This tool is available for you 100% free. If not, there's a lot of little services you can do and you can pay for. We're not the only 
guys doing the edge of technology. We're one and one of the few, but there's a lot of other people. Mass texting has a 930% open rate. That means if out of a thousand texts, 930 of them are gonna get open. Now it's up to you to send something relevant. Like you say, hey, first name of homeowner, hi, James. I have a new, uh, I have a open house I'm inviting you to this Sunday. You think they're not gonna take a look? They're gonna be like, yeah, definitely, a thank you, I appreciate it. Or some people may say, no, thanks a lot, but no, I'm not interested. Or and you say, no problem, be respectful when they reply. If they say stop, make sure you don't, you take them off the list, and you, of course, you abide by all federal, state, county guidelines. Stay within the law, you don't wanna get in trouble. But this has a huge impact. I cannot believe realtors are not taking this taking advantage of this. It's just a great tool to get a conversation going. You know what would be great? If you send a text out and you put a link out to the landing page, huh? Now we're thinking a certain landing page that you built for that property, maybe 123mainstreet.com. You see where I'm going with that? Get them there. Oh, wow, they look at the property really quick, didn't they? Oh, guess what? You have your information, your contact information. Wow, you need to sell your house? Boom, there you go. Number five. Ooh, this is a good one and it's underestimated. Number five, my marketing secrets. This is a great one, folks. And bear with me, it's hot in here. There's no air conditioning. Air conditioner went out. There is, there's plenty of business out there. Now, the realtors that have been working the area, been farming the area, you think they're your competition, but really they're your allies. We're all in this for the common goal to buy and sell more properties. Of course, listings can competitive. We'll talk about that and how to gain listings in the, in the mastery class. But in this case, you want you to call them up, the people, maybe the top 20 realtors in the neighborhood that work, that maybe have a few listings, have done a good business out there. I want you to per not call, not a text, not an email, or not just that. I want you to call them personally and be like, Hey, Sarah, I know you are the professional and the master of this neighborhood. I'm sorry to call you, but I got a new listing over there at 123 Main Street. And it's a two bedroom, two bath. And I just wanted to bring to your attention before I even put it on the market. I know you're, you have probably have a buyer list ready to go. So I wanted to show you, maybe you would come, come by and I know you're busy and everything. Maybe I'd buy you a coffee for your time and we can get together. Why? It's because number one, you're cultivating a relationship. You personally called them like, oh, wow. Now, guess what happens if, you know, maybe she doesn't have a buyer. Maybe she does have a buyer. But the thing is, is you guys now are going to be working together. You know, you never know what's going to happen when you get your mastermind alliance group together and you headed in that right direction by surrounding yourself with these people that have the common goals that are moving in that right direction. It's so important. It can just launch you it can launch your career because you know like sometimes they just get too busy they're like you know i don't you know i dirty don't have time for this three hundred thousand client kid would you mind working it and you know just give me like one percent yes especially when you're just barely getting going all these and vice versa what if you have a couple of listings that or you have a couple of buyers that you can't work with you got too much Hey, do you have time, Sarah, that you want to you know, take care of this and maybe you can give me 1%? 1 1% 1 of uh, uh, versus 0% is something, right? So these relationships, just cultivate them. Be personal, but treat them like people because they are people. That's my five tips to success in marketing. I hope you like it. And if you do, sm do me a favor. Don't hit, the, I mean, smash that like button and share it. There's plenty of business out here, guys. I'm here to help you, coach you, launch you, launch your business into a whole nother level because I don't see any brokers doing this. And I'm seeing a gap here where there's nothing being done. Realtors are kind of like, they're getting comfortable in the state that they are, even though they can go so much further. So I'm Alan Jimenez here at hpagents.com and I love to be your future broker. See you on the next one, bye-bye. Thank you so much for tuning in at hpagents.com. I hope you learned something, I really do. Now, if you like these type of videos where you're continuously learning, getting outside your comfort zone. Now remember, you grow outside of comfort. In the comfort, when you're real cozy, you don't grow as a person. So I'm gonna push you to become the best in real estate. If you like this, you wanna become the best, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Do yourself a favor, a favor. Do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button now, not later. The reason why is when I set that next video out, you get alerted and say, oh, Alan has a new video about real estate. I better check it out. To make more money. Yes, I need to 
to do something different. <laughs> See you guys later. Uh, yeah, you sir. Go in and start doing your cold calls. And put on an open house. You sir there. Uh, yeah, tell one of your agents to do open house. You don't have any listings you say? No problem. Tell them, call me up, I'll get you one of my listings. <laughs> Now, for real, no, you, ma'am, you got to get going.